Word Vibes Nuggets. Eternity, the unending love of God. The love of God has reached every person that was ever born into the world, irrespective of their circumstances. The mere fact that they were birthed in time is an act of the unending love of God. His love is boundless and abundant, and He is a God of faithfulness without injustice. In the book of Acts, God reveals that He sets the bounds of our habitation. He decides before time where we should be born, who our parents should be, and he sets us in the place where we are most likely to experience him. He takes personal responsibility to manifest his love to every single person without partiality. In a time when there is so much suffering and dying in the world, many are wondering if God is real. And if he is, why does he allow the wicked to prosper in their ways? It is important for us to know that God is fair. He judges us according to the amount of light that He gives us, the amount of grace that He pours into us, and is ultimately in control. In Jeremiah 31 verse 3, Jeremiah said, The Lord has appeared of old unto me. Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. We see again in Jeremiah chapter 1, where the Lord said unto him, from before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you, and I ordained you as a prophet to the nations. God knew us before we were born. We were a thought in his mind, and he looked at his total plan and determined the exact time that we should live on planet Earth and the exact purpose for which we were born. He loves us with an everlasting love, and throughout the different dispensation, the operation of his love and his truth, which endures through every generation, came in a way that he knew would be best for the people living in those times. In Jeremiah's time, God knew exactly how to demonstrate his love and his truth to those who were in that generation. In today's world, there are so many distractions, but the grace of God which is the divine influence of God, is extended to all men to teach us how to deny ungodliness so that we can live soberly in this present world. Even when the church went into the dark ages, there were still people who knew God, who chose to live in obedience to Him in those times. God has never been found without a witness in the earth. In John 13 verse 34, Jesus said, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another, as I have loved you, that ye love one another. And in St. Luke chapter 10 verse 27, he said, Thou shalt love the Lord God with all your heart and your soul and your strength, and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. Jesus empowers us to love out of the divine nature of God, which is installed into us by the Holy Spirit. God's love is unending and so great that it is strong enough to save to the uttermost. It is through that love that he gave his only begotten son so that he could have many more sons just like Jesus Christ. Since Pentecost, he has been birthing many more sons, and this is one of his greatest acts of love. According to Ephesians 2, from verse 4 to 7, God's love is able to perfect us in our walks. In his redemptive plan of salvation, he chose us before the foundation of the earth. God has foresight and foreknowledge. He is the high and lofty one who inhabits eternity, a timeless realm. God is so vast that his glory cannot be contained in time. This great, big, wonderful God has a plan of salvation that includes you. Sons of God, you are God's perfect love creation. None of his children have spiritual birth defects. All his works are perfect, and so, 
a perfect God created a perfect you. The Holy Spirit downloads the full love of God into our hearts. He installs the very mind of Christ in us. God has made us instruments of His love. So our lives are designed to release His love in every circumstance, every situation, and every relationship. The part of the message that blesses me the most is that part that tells us that as sons of God, we do not have birth defects. It reminded me that there's nothing that can stop us from fulfilling God's purpose for our lives outside of disobedience. God's love is great. God's love is big. God's love is wonderful. And it is unconditional.